Today I'm gonna to show you how to make this photocopy effect here in Photoshop, which is really popular on YouTube. So let's do this. Press Ctrl R to activate the ruler and we're gonna cut this in half. But as you can see, the model's head is not perfectly vertical. So now I can select the crop and I can rotate it like this. Now I can adjust it how you like and I also gonna expand it more, double click release. And now it's time to cut the image in two pieces. So I gotta select the marquee tool. I gotta select half of the image. For example, in this area, I gonna press Control X and Control V and I gonna place it somewhere here and select the second one and I gonna open it up like this. From here, I gonna select the first layer with the left side of the image select the marquee tool and I'm gonna select a thin area from here. So make sure that you select a little bit from the image and press Control X, Control V. It looks something like this. I'm gonna place it back where it was and press Control T, press and hold Shift and stretch it out. From here, I'm gonna select the stretched pixels. I'm gonna drag it under these layers, press Control T, right click and select Warp. Now we're gonna go up here to the grids and select five by five. And now you can select one of these dots and distort it however you like. So you can select multiple ones. I'm going to select this, press and hold shift, just drag it and it's going to distort. I'm going to speed this up. Wow, this looks a little bit freaky. I also going to need to correct this up with a new layer paint here. You also can try to correct these areas so it won't be that sharp. I can select this layer and I can mask it select the brush and with the brush you can delete a little bit of these areas so it is going to melt together even better. I'm going to select all the layers, press and hold shift select all, right click, convert to smart object and we're going to go to filter, add some noise, add noise and I'm going to increase it a little bit higher. Make sure to uncheck the monochrome, click OK. And now we're going to add some effects from the filter gallery but first make sure that the colors are on pure black and white. So make sure to click on this and now the top is going to be black and the bottom is going to be white. So let's go to the filter filter gallery and let's go down and select torn edges and I'm gonna roll with these settings which are high but make sure to experiment with this because this works differently on different sized images. Click OK and not but least I gotta go to the adjustments, scroll down, select the gradient map, click on it and I'm gonna double click on the white and go and choose another color. Click OK, click OK and this is how you make this really cool photocopy effect here in Photoshop. Thanks for watching.